now somebody's daughter go find you one day <laughs> One day, bros don't take it to her to parara. <laughs> Me self shock. <laughs> Hello guys, you're welcome to my channel. My name is Bukume K B K Crown. So hey, I'm going to be reading some funny relationship breakup story you have never heard. One way or the other, we've been heartbroken, especially in relationship, and I'm sure you two might have a funny way you broke up with your ex. But I gathered some of people's you no know, stories, so I'm going to be reading it. Please don't take anything I say a personal. We are just here to catch fun. So let me start reading this person said we dated like that is he dated his partner his ex for two years and even planning on settling down now so and see say she has been forcing herself to love me yeah after two years <laughs> things are happening wow hmm interesting she asked for space to clear her mind which i did wow well <laughs> this is crazy <laughs> in my church mind we would get back together as i was very loyal and faithful human being wow 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 yeah <laughs> long story cut short six months later until became two months pregnant for someone she introduced to me as a colleague at work hey things are happening no wonder she said she has been forcing herself to love this guy that means during their two years relationship she was actually having someone she was giving attention to apart from that guy hey things are happening maybe she's benefiting one thing from the person she claims she's in a relationship with, with this guy and she's benefiting the other from the other guy. Well, I don't know why longer throats, they kill some ladies, Sha. Hmm, too much longer throats. <laughs> wow. You know, what I don't understand is that you guys gave yourself a break. Eh? Then six months later, you are not coming to tell him that you are too much pregnant. So what do you want him to do? <laughs> To me, it's as if they've broken up. That one, if, if you tell me that you need some time, I'm on a break up. Oh, I don't believe in that kind of thing. And I've never done that in my relationship. If anything going on, we have to set to it. No, even though we quarry, we must settle that quarry that night. Though. It must not pass that next day. I don't do that. I don't believe in that kind of thing. We need to set to it. So, you know, him, dear, oh, some old friends later told me Auntie was busy telling people that she left me because I was cheating on her. <laughs> now that lie bust my brain. <laughs> oh my god. That's easy though. When they know that they are at fault, they'll use one thing to cover up. And you know, any story a lady tell, most most people will believe when it comes to relationship, marriage or anything. How can she give that kind of story? Hmm, things are happening. <laughs> hey, so let me read another funny relationship breakup story. This person said, everything was going on smoothly. Then one day, I called her, she didn't pick. Called her the next day, she didn't pick up. Then I hoped she was going to call back after seeing my missed course. But she didn't. And we kept viewing each other's WhatsApp status. <laughs> Waiting the next day, she didn't score. One week became one month, and one month became two months, and that's where we are now. Only to discover recently that she has blocked me on WhatsApp. Hey, I still laugh anytime I remember how weird the breakup was. I think it's because she's a JW. What's JW? I don't understand that abbreviation, and I'm Pentecostal. But at least she should have said something. I really love her. Hey, yeah. She was the only girl to take me out on a date and pay for it. <laughs> ah, no one. <laughs> My girl don't tire today. Pay for your bill. <laughs> but this is quite funny. Oh. Ah, ah. Well, <laughs> let me go to the next one. <laughs> I can't stop laughing. 
so the next story i met a girl and we dated for like three years we were best friends before we started dating i went for nyse 2019 she made me promise not to leave her i told her i love her and i wasn't going to leave her even without a promise because i intended to marry her i was working vosa plans in secret for me and her 2020 babe enter nyc i visited her august in apartment like that is in the visited her um, in an apartment in the month of august that he rented for her december 30th 2020 babe said she can't date me anymore she's tired of dating just like that no fight i tried my best she stopped picking my course i found out 24th of february that she's getting married hey yeah in may i wish i were sha but love me another one go hard for me for a while ah this one is not that funny too but it's heartbroken like wow like if you understand the story this guy went for nyc the lady had to tell the guy to promise her not to leave her and cheat on her and the guy made the promise and they were still dating till he finished his nyc they were still together then now it's now her own turn vice versa she went for nyc but when she she went for nyc the guy rented an apartment for her did everything for her and just one day the lady just said she's no more interested no fights no quarrel nothing nothing that's why they say longer throats go kiss on it it's like so you have somebody at that corner where you know say you go marry at the same time, you are not deceiving another woman's son. Hey, you serious, sir? Hmm. This one will be somebody's son. Now somebody's daughter will go find you one day, <laughs> one day. Bros, don't take it to her to parara. <laughs> oh, but this kind of breakup is always hard for um the person to move on, and you will not notice that. We know send people will not be suffering for it and the next person you will actually fall in love with now you might not really fall in love with that that deeply you might just be treating her anyhow just because of how the ex treated her that's i don't know why people are like this it's not that funny but it's just it's just very very sad that that lady had to do something like that okay this guy's story is long ago but i'll i'll still read this so lo there was this babe i had them she was my first major girlfriend ah, ah hey wow <laughs> two months gone so we planned on having a date on a sunday evening easter 2014 to be precise i won't forget because something terrible happened on that day i gave babe over two weeks notice and kept reminding her of the date every day in case she had any change of plans even went as far as visiting her the evening before the date day but she assured me with 101 percent that she will come along hmm it's getting interesting he star came i ironed my get so straight looking fresh and kidnappable walking ah, like someone who has made it <laughs> who has made it in life this guy oh, this guy is funny it was 4 p.m already and i decided to call bay to know if she's ready so we would storm ziku hotel in grand style hmm grand style without your get so clothes i like you jire <laughs> this guy is just being real seriously those in kaduna will be familiar with that place oh wow my first call no answer second call no answer well i was like perhaps she's taking her bed and decided to chill a little bit at home after like 30 minutes i called her again no response and brethren hmm this brethren eh? i forsake water for this kind of story i want to know how this story go hand safe hmm brethren hmm. that was how i continued calling her line until 6 30 p.m uh -uh. oh god you call person call person call person person don't pick your call if i just leave out for some time that's why she they use you do shakara now when she see that you are too keen to her you are too loving to her or you, are, you look as if you are too desperate you'll be doing shakara well let me keep reading that was why i continue calling her line until 6 13 p.m giving her over 50 missed calls kilo de oga take calm easy now why i, I don't understand <laughs> In the process, me self shock. 
my guy said he said he's shocked say if we call call her 50 times <laughs> Trust guys, now they decoded sharply and started laughing at me when they saw me in a very devastating mood. Okay, his friends, they are now laughing at him when they saw him in that kind of mood. Then I was like, my day can't end like this. Told one of my guys to prepare, let's chill out. On our way to Casablanca in Banawa, now so bike man carry me away for nothing, no. <laughs> The new clothes and shoe I bought got damaged in the process. Why I sustained minor injuries a year. On my left arm and knees, the bike man came out unhurt and even had the F1 tree to tell me to pay him his money. <laughs> Why would he collect money? So the next day, she came kneeling down, apologizing and talking trash that I don't understand. I simply forgave her, hugged her and told her to go home. That was how our communication relationship died a natural death. <laughs> but I don't understand some of ladies. That ego, ego goes kill some ladies. So, you were at fault. You apologize to the guy. Instead of it to at least make sure that your communication is stronger, you left the guy like that, waiting for him to say hello to you. And you think he will send hello to you. Yeah, on your hood. That is how some relationship ends. Like, I don't know what's, what's the big in you typing hello or sending message or calling someone. Why? Why? Why can't you take the the first step? Why can't you take that first step? Why? Why was he say that eh, 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 is his duty? There's nothing like he's anybody's duty. Yo. There's nothing like eh, she is the guy. He, he should be the one to be doing the calling. It doesn't make sense to me at all. At all, at all. <laughs> this guy is funny. What made me laugh was the way the guy was describing his dressing, his outfits, like ghetto <laughs> outfits. Some people are quite funny, guys. Finally, let me read the story. Mm. After I broke up from a eight years relationship, I say make I rest for one year. Shortly after my resting period, with so much crying and praying, I met another dude who was based in Lagos and I was in PH Portacourt. Hmm, <clears throat> this story in long sha, but make I try. As a guy that's just started his life on his own, he left his dad's company due to so much control over him at his age. And this was before we met. I was encouraging him to apply for jobs since he graduated with a first class, but opted for Uber. Bros was literally broke and I was earning 50,000 naira then, but we were managing. I will send him little to buy shirts and pants in preparation for interviews. Fund his TP to go to other states for interview. That is transport fare to go to other states for interview. Last, last, bro got a job at Cyberspace in Lagos. He insisted I resign from my job and join him in Lagos, which I could not because my momsy was ill and I was footing a medication bills although i told him i would resign if i am certain i get a job over there throughout the year we dated i was always visiting and he never came once this guy introduced me to his mom and sisters and had met my mom and sister too fast forward sha it was two days to my birthday and we had planned meeting in lagos now the main gist one of my major customers at my place of work offered me a job at Ikoi and a managerial position with an official car and house. I quickly resigned from work and with plenty joining me, I was going to tell my man when I get to Lagos. I called before leaving Buttercourt, like two days before I traveled, but there was no response. I shared some more courage and hit the highway. On getting to Ugeli, I bought a new SIM and called and shockingly he answered. Hmm. As bros hear my voice, him just pretending a network and ended the call. Oh, I called and called and got no response from him. I had to stop over at my sister's place and pass the night with her family. The next day, being a day to my birthday, hmm, I called and sent a nasty and at the same time, erotic message to bros. Then he replied, <laughs> I will see you tomorrow. Hey guys, now enjoyment go kill you people. Enjoyment. When you hear said now for enjoyment, he quickly responded. Hmm? When the lady was calling him on a normal day, 
he didn't respond why is that when she said something like oh for enjoyment you guys are going to have fun and all those stuff then instantly you said you see her tomorrow ha you guys now enjoyment go kill you <laughs> i find bros go in house but was told he had packed out three months earlier and the new location i knew not oh in sadness i cried my way back to my sister's house she and her husband turned motivational speakers that day <laughs> They know they're not nice, so these people are not nice. They sort of there to comfort her, they're now motivating her. Oh, it's not the end of the world. Don't worry, things will be fine. You get the <laughs> oh, but this story is, is really, really, it's really, really painful. It's touching my heart like painful story. Hmm, I had mixed feelings, but was very sure the pain I felt was much. I stayed in Lagos for a month and in serious pain and applied to be transferred to Portacourt since same position was still up. Meanwhile, now because of bros, I be choose Lagos so here, which was granted. As I moved back, COVID struck. Five months later, bros started calling. It's more than a year now since he has been begging to come back. The breakup paid me past the eight years relationship. Oh, because I felt after that long relationship, I would never love again. Ha! Huh. It's not nice but then i fell for this guy badly this thought still hurts even though i had forgiven him but i will reply his last whatsapp chat with my wedding invitation that's it girl that is it babe for those people thinking all ladies are up and about your urgent suking you must change your orientation yes you guys are thinking that all ladies are after your money please change that mindset remove that thing from your mind there are a lot of hard-working ladies and i'll say it again there are a lot of hard-working ladies that are trying to make ends meet there are ladies that they are doing well doing well financially doing well in their jobs so because a lady is talking to you today you not think ah now because of she need money she does that she's starting up with me no a lot of ladies can really take care of themselves without a guy a lot of ladies are actually still doing it like after she broke up from eight years relationship she later got someone else and this person to broke her heart that's why it's always hard for people to move on you see some someone will tell you that i don't think i, I, I will marry another person will be like i prefer to become a baby mama another person will say it's because of the heartbreak like they've been broken heartedly it's not easy to go through heartbreak it's not easy guys not easy not actually easy it's good yes like for her to summon that courage to still go for another relationship after eight years past relationship then this guy now had to do this to her and you think it's easy for her to go into another one it won't this is not actually funny but it's something that one can actually learn from it's a story you one can actually learn from so guys this is what i have for you today's video hope you enjoyed this relationship stories yes 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 hope you enjoyed it i actually do enjoy myself so all i do on this channel is lifestyle relationship and reaction videos yes so my name is bukumi aka bk crown please if you not subscribe to my channel can you hit the subscribe button subscription is absolutely free on this channel guys remember stay positive be you don't let anything weigh you down you can always do better at whatever you do keep watching pick a crown space stay blessed bye